before... Oh, you may be wondering what this is. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the latest cancer-causing agent known to exist in America. This is a cellular phone. And I toyed with the idea of showing my solidarity with the, the cellular phone manufacturers, because this is such bunk. These things haven't been out 10 years yet, and the idea that we get cancer just like that from using these things, to me, uh, is just a bunch of hysterical panic. It, you remember here in New York, I guess this is a couple of years ago, maybe three now, uh, there was this soft drink that uh, uh, they made in Queens, and they sold two liter bottles of this stuff for 59 cents. It was called Tropical Fantasy Breeze or some such thing, whatever it was. And people were buying it left and right because it was cheap, 59 cents for two liter bottles. Well, eventually, the sales started to impact the uh, other existing beverages out there, and suspiciously, a rumor began that if you drank this stuff and you were minority and male, you'd go sterile. <laughs> and people believed it. It's amazing what you can make people believe. I said, what kind of intelligence have we put into this beverage that it knows it's inside a minority male's body and then knows to go sterilize that person? <laughs> but people believed it. So now here we are with the same thing. So I'm going to wear this thing the whole show, folks. It's on. We have dialed a 900 phone sex line. And I'm... <laughs> I am going to be doing this entire show, and I've got a big important dinner tonight, but I'm going to risk putting a dent in my hair with this clodhopper thing that we've arranged so that I can have the cellular phone on my face during the entire show. I've got phone sex going on right in this ear, and I am, no, I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to show you just how devoted I am to you and how uh, able I am to concentrate <laughs> on this show. Plus, I'm going to demonstrate my solidarity with the cellular phone people because I don't believe this stuff causes cancer. We, you know, they, not long ago, they said milk causes cancer. So we had everybody drinking milk on this show, and nobody who did is dead. So.